Hi folks, my name is Brian Haywood and in this video I want to talk about an absolutely wonderful experience I had purchasing this 1961 Gibson RV100 banjo from Low Vintage Instruments located in downtown Burlington, North Carolina. Uh, Ed Lowe and his son Will have been selling uh, instruments online since 2004 and they opened a brick and mortar store about four years ago in 2014. Uh, that's when I became acquainted with them and have been, have been visiting periodically ever since. And, and recently I was able to actually make a purchase from them. I want to say that Ed and Will treat their customers like members of the family. They invite you to really spend some time trying out the instruments and comparing them uh, in a no pressure environment. Uh, they specialize in vintage acoustic instruments, including guitars, banjos, mandolins, doghouse basses, uh, dobros. Um, all that good stuff. Uh, however, um, they often will have uh, more newer pieces sometimes that they will have, more, more modern instruments. I found this to be uh, one of the few places uh, probably in the whole country where you can play, play such a variety of instruments uh, during the different time periods and you can kind of compare and contrast not only their tone but also the different parts that was used throughout those different time periods. And for those of you that like vintage uh, electric guitars and basses, usually they'll have a few in there uh, that, that date back to the 60s, um, Gibsons and Fenders and, and those kind of things. So if you're interested in that, you can check them out online and see what they have available currently and then give them a call or go visit. One of my favorite reasons to visit low vintage instruments is that you'll always find one or two pieces uh, at least that are uh, highly collectible, uh, just very special pieces. Often they're historically significant. Uh, you get to kind of learn more about the history. Uh, you get to see them up close, maybe even get to play them. Kind of depends on what's going on. Um, but I've had the pleasure of uh, examining and playing some of these instruments. One of them was uh, a Gibson Granada banjo that was in the same batch as um, Earl Scruggs and Sonny Osborne's uh, Granadas. Uh, also an RB75 that was owned several years by J.D. Crow. He's played it on stage. You can watch videos of him playing that same banjo. Very neat. I got to play it. Um, I've also played, even though I'm not much of a mandolin or a guitar player, they'll say, here, play this. Uh, and it was a, a Lloyd Lohr uh, Gibson mandolin uh, pre-war. Um, uh, several different guitars from the different time periods, uh, the Martin guitars from the 30s, a D18. Uh, these are the kind of uh, instruments that you really just have dreams about. And in fact, I have. I've dreamt about some of the in instruments, believe it or not. Uh, but it's just very neat to be able to, to, to get a little piece of that history, learn a little bit more about it. That's kind of one of the fun parts about collecting older and buying older instruments is you, you kind of get to, to talk about some of those holy grail type of instruments and uh, you actually get to see those when you go to low vintage a lot of times. And you never know who you might meet when you go to low vintage. Uh, I met uh, several uh, local bluegrass players, uh, some that have played with more uh, famous bands. You might recognize some of those, uh, but every once in a while you kind of have an impromptu jam session. I'll be in there playing a banjo, somebody else will be playing a guitar, and somebody else will join, grab a bass and we'll just play one or two, which is always fun. Uh, also some folks that you might uh, recognize, you might see. One time I was in there and Tommy Emanuel was in there, great guitar player. Um, often uh, a lot of the bluegrass greats uh, are in there. You might see Terry Balcom or uh, you, might, you, you might see anybody during IBMA week. Uh, lots of folks stop by because it's not that far from Raleigh, um, so it's very convenient for folks to stop by. It's right off of I-85, I-40. Um, there it's in between Greensboro and Raleigh, so uh, a lot of traffic goes through that way. Uh, so you never know who you might see. So I highly suggest you go to their website, lowvintage.com, where you can see wonderful pictures and descriptions, detailed descriptions uh, of the instruments that they have available currently. Um, and the great thing about purchasing an instrument from Ed and Will is that you know exactly what you're buying. It's all been documented. They give you all of the details and they guarantee every instrument that they sell. So uh, having that kind of confidence uh, when you're trying to buy um, a vintage instrument. A lot of times vintage instruments, parts have been replaced and it's hard to tell whether they're new parts or old parts. So uh, all the legwork's been done for you on that. Uh, also wanted to tell you that Low Vintage carries 
full line of quality accessories. So even if you're not ready to uh, make a big instrument purchase, you can go and buy a pick. I think I bought picks and strings and that kind of stuff for a while until I was able to uh, uh, to purchase this banjo. But uh, they carry Calton cases, so if you need a nice um, flight case kind of thing. Uh, Elliot Capos, blue chip picks, Lakota leather straps. I got this Lakota leather strap. I love it uh, when I bought this banjo. Peterson strobe tuners, uh, on and on and on. So high quality uh, accessories to go along with your instruments as well. So go check out Low Vintage online. And um, if you're in North Carolina, you can go by and visit them. Uh, like I said, it's just off of I-85, I-40 between Greensboro and Raleigh. And make sure you tell them I sent you. Thanks.